And welcome here. We're excited to get going with some more action here with Play vs. Spring 2024 High School Championship. And we are still excited because we're here with the Georgia High School Association and we are getting into some Rocket League action. Once again, I am Orbital. This time I am joined by Jobin and we will be your casters for this Rocket League matchup. Best of seven to go ahead and have some fun. Jobin, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I feel like the high school Rocket League is more hype than a lot of the college stuff because Rocket League is the one game nowadays where you hit 12, 13 years old, you're starting to enter your prime, you're going to get scouted for some of these RLCS teams. So I've been seeing some crazy high school talent across some of the leagues the last month or two. So getting a nice best of seven, getting a finals, having actual incentive, some prize money on the line, I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be a good time. And, of course, we do have our two teams coming in here. It is going to be Swains Vegas going up against a Viking RL1. Of course, Viking RL having a couple different teams, but their main team making it here to the finals. And in the best seven, we're sure it's going to be a banger. Yeah, that's why I like getting into the best of seven, too. You're going to get a good chance to have that feel out throughout a series. A team, you know, you might drop the first game, you might start off slow, but you get a chance to make the adjustments. And truthfully, the longer a series goes across any sport and esports e as well, the better team, you know, maybe not always going to win, but 95% of the time, the longer a series go, the better team is going to find more ways to win. They're going to be a little more consistent, maybe a little bit better, better mechanically. We see that with some of the high school kids as well. So getting into a seven game series, I just cannot wait to see it. Hopefully we just get, you know, get at least five, six games into it. I think we will because, of course, these teams are also very used to best of fives. Uh, these are teams that uh, in the regular season were playing best of five instead. So best of seven, slightly longer, but that can be the make or break point. Remember, these players have also already played the semifinals matchup earlier on uh, today. So they've already gone through a best of seven match. That's the other part of it as we are getting straight into it. Quick little roll and Zengutsu says thank you very much, Zengutsu. I do apologize. Score is goal number one. Yeah, pretty easy goal. Just kind of had to walk it down the middle. Maybe faked out one of the defenders there and just able to walk that one right down the red carpet. So that is a great start to the best of seven. You said they've already been warmed up. They already had to hop on the server earlier. So early one nothing lead in the finals. That is going to feel good. Mm, now they're going to look for a little bit more, of course. But that first goal always feels, I think, really, really good. For Viking R01, you go ahead and sit there and... Uh, I, I always say in Rocket League, having that first goal in so early in the match, affords you like a little bit of opportunity. Looking like another though, as that's a second corrupt Kevin. Not so corrupt here, as you're looking clean with that one. Yeah, we said it was a long series. It is possibly going seven games, but one thing you don't want to do is get whacked in game one, lose five, six, nothing. It could be very demoralizing. The other team can really start to impose their will, start to play at their own pace. So you want to try to stop the bleeding nice and early. The good thing with Rocket League, it takes maybe five seconds to score. When the stars align, you get a nice counter attack. So you've got all the time in the world to work with. You just want to make sure you try to get one back quickly, but it looks like oh. Corrupt is trying to go for the back to back. And he will find it. So three on the board in under a minute for Viking RL. All right, one can sometimes be chalked up to, you know, a, you know, a little bit of a surprise. Two can be a coincidence. At three, Viking RL are looking pretty dang good. <laughs> that is three goals in a single a minute. And Crow Kevin's actually looking for a hat trick. Bounces off the back post and says, "All right, all right, I'll let that one slide." Swains Vegas. Honestly, still looking for a little bit of leverage on their own. One of the first actual offenses I think they've been able to set up. And it looks a little bit wonky right now. So struggling to get full control over this ball. But Viking RL, their defense is just about as strong as their offense. Yeah, at least for Vegas right now, the pressure has been pretty good. You don't want to be stuck on the back foot the entire game because even the best teams in the world, if you give five, six, seven chances to take a crack at that net, eventually you're going to run out of boost. The defense is going to get pulled all over the field and it is very hard to try to play in that style. So maybe try to go for a couple demos, open up the space a little bit, try to see if you can find one of these counter attacks because obviously Viking is going to play aggressive when a team goes for three goals in the first minute. That is going to be the name of the game probably throughout the series. Wow. And that is a great little touch pass right to the crease and that is going to be called Metzko or call me Taco rather can't read anymore but that's a great nice little passing play it's a confidence builder and you've still got three minutes to make up the deficit so much time to play for and right now we are waiting for Viking RL to you know see if they start leaning forward in their chair they have a two goal lead which is more than enough to kind of coast on if you so wish for corrupt Kevin says hey I really really want another I want to continue our dominance because you don't know if this game is going to be over just yet. 
However, with a couple swings to the sidelines, control over the booze, Swain's Vegas had to play a little bit smart about where they want to go. You can see the heavy-handed defense they're trying to set up. Good chase on the ball. Peeking, saying, yo, let's go ahead and play smart. YN is going to go ahead and try and get in front of as well, but you're on zero boost. Finally gets a full, and the ball is already on the opposite side of field. Shot goes a little bit wide there, and Viking RL took a crack at the goal. Yeah, looks like a decent little chance there. Swain's Vegas looking to see if they can try to cut into the deficit. We are about halfway through this first game. They seem to have stabilized a lot more than the first few minutes. Sometimes it takes a minute or two to get the tires under you, kind of get settled into the way a team is going to play the play style. And I think they know now Corrupt is going to go look for these aerial plays. He is going to try to set up his teammates in the middle of the field, try to try, try to cut off his space, go for some interceptions, try to play the neutral zone, but a bit of a mistake in the crease. Luckily, it will be saved. Taco will get credit for a shot there. Nice little counter punch by Viking looking to send clearance for the time being but looks like Vegas they're gonna send that one right back in and looks like Yonma trying to see if they can find something right now Taco is gonna win out the 50 they're still putting a good amount of pressure on the bump is gonna come through as well so just disrupting trying to make a little bit of noise in the crease looks like Viking will eventually find the play and oh. that is a great shot even better save that was a little bit spicy one as well we saw Viking RL just like yo how can we get the goals however that shot turns into a goal against them as Swain's Vegas move to two. And this was a beauty of one as well. You can see Harmonic was hoping to set up, get a run on the goal, but a beautiful pick there. One goal difference as we head into a minute 45 on the clock. Yeah, always feel good to hit the inside of the post because if that ball goes one foot to the left, that is just going to kick right into the side corner. Oh, that is going to be very unfortunate, potentially giving up a kickoff goal. Possibly the worst feeling in Rocket League, especially after you bring this game that was looking pretty doom and gloom back to a one-goal deficit. Some nice mechanics out of peaking there. It is going to be Viking looking to see if they can clear this one. They're getting a little bit scrambled on the back in the last couple of minutes. Maybe Swain's Vegas. Now that they can finally put that pressure on, you can start to see the cracks in the defense. It's very, very hard to play like that the entire oh. payments and gets to the flick of the wrist right at the end catches the defender off guard with the pace and just a great play off the ceiling and just an excellent finish and i give a lot of credit to viking rl i'm seeing a lot of individual plays normally i would i would critique it a little bit especially in the grand finals you like to see the team play right now i'm seeing a lot of defensive plays be teamwork but individually the strikes from viking rl have all been individuals kind of stepping up to the plate having that one two touch or anything like that off the back oh, order kevin. a carry on your own like that corrupt kevin hat trick on the board four shots total three going in 75 percent yeah, that is a very high percentage, and if you're Viking RL, the fact that you're able to just instantly get those two goals back, a lot of teams, you know, palms start to get a little bit sweaty, you're up 3 nothing. you look at the scoreboard, it's 3-2, there is a lot of time left, but then you just get two fantastic individual efforts, you get that game right back, you come down, you hit two straight three-pointers, and now you can just look to put the pressure, the clock is now your best friend in every sense of the word. Try to find a couple demos as long as you play pop up with this ball. This game should essentially be all but theirs. But what's better than three? How about four for five? Almost 800 score for Corrupt Kevin and an absolute superstar game one. That was also against the bumps of Swain Vegas. And normally you would see the bumps actually cause a lot more uh, chaos than that. Two defenders in the middle. Swain Vegas actually tried their best, so I really can't put it on them. Uh, Corrupt Kevin is just that good right now. I'm starting to yeah. see Corrupt Kevin as that player to watch that striker that you just sit there. It's like a, it's like Ronaldo in the best sense. You can't really stop someone that doesn't want to be stopped at points. So I'm really, really enjoying what Viking RL is throwing down right now. A little bit of offensive setup, though, as Ooh. the team play comes out. Swings Vegas is able to close that lead to three. Yeah, so I will say Swain's Vegas actually has some, when they're able to get the ball in offense, they've made a couple of really, really good passing plays. They're catching a lot of good timing. They're finding really, really good windows to kind of punish this defense. So it just comes down sometimes right. It is just a hands diff. Viking right now, game one can be described as just the ultimate hands diff by Kevin and the rest of the crew. And oh. that is going to be a nice little shot though. So don't say die quite yet. You've got 22 seconds to score two goals. This is absolutely in the realm of possibility. It will be very tough, but even if you're Swain's Vegas, if you were to lose this game one, considering how bad you started, there was a lot to be happy about. I, that's also why I love early goals. I said it before, the early goals can make a difference. When you catch an opponent kind of sleeping, it affords you that safety net. That safety net, I think, is currently holding the Vikings up. It's, it's really that main point of if those two early goals did not go down, 
We would see a tie game at the current moment, though. It is still that two goals, so because of that swing, Vegas are trying their hardest. Unfortunately, time is running out. And with only four seconds left, there's nothing else to play for. Corrupt yeah, Heaven. Why not? Five out of six. Go ahead, post it up. They said, yo, two doesn't look too pretty. Three is the magic number. What a pass by Harmonic, too. That ball had the perfect backspin to lay right on the front bumper, so that is going to be seven on the board for Vikings. So right now, an offensive output. I, a lot of series like this, I feel like the next game, we're usually doomed for an overtime or a 1-0, 2-1 scoreline. Both teams kind of go, okay. We do have to play defense at some point. We probably should try to focus, especially when Kevin is literally trying to 1v3 the back line and almost <laughs> succeeding. So that is going to be game one. Obviously, a master class out of Corrupt Kevin. The individual goal the passing plays lots for Swain's Vegas to be happy about but you've got to find a way to play some defense you're not going to score more than seven every game mm -hmm. and honestly you need to break I think corrupt Kevin that's the hardest part how can you break someone that's already corrupted that's the difficult part but uh, at the end of the day I, I do I did see Swain's Vegas actually attempt that kind of bump factor that hey let's get a little bit more aggressive with our defensive play you saw that bump earlier corrupt kevin was thrown off to the ledge i want to see them do it again i want to see swains vegas get a little bit more offensive heavy maybe go for those demos try and disrupt some of the individual plays and you know see if they can ramp up and also don't allow what was it like an early i think it was an eight second goal for viking rl that's the other yeah. side of it and then like a 22 second goal basically the next yep. play so yeah if you can start off you know keep the game 0-0 for a bit you made a lot of great plays like you can clearly see the teamwork they've got some chemistry they've got a couple plays cooked up in the playbook so just gotta stabilize the early part of the game i mean already off to a better start granted not saying a whole lot considering but and I, you made a good point too if i'm the side of swain's vegas I, I might just take someone on the pitch and say you have got to go headhunt kevin go for every single 50 50 try to make him uncomfortable see if we can kind of throw him off of his game and then we can just work on the rotations, try to play some safe Rocket League and try to knock the series 1-1. And right now, just a lot more stable game one, back and forth, back and forth. But Kevin almost tried to draw first blood, will luckily get shut down, but this is still a dangerous ball. And on the goal line, Nola with a Ooh. huge save. I also want to point out, uh, Viking RL have had a pretty storied run through this Ooh. bracket as Harmonix sends one in. Viking RL are currently looking like a team that is you know, the nice. David to the Goliaths here. Uh, I took a look at the bracket. I was just really curious because they're coming out with some heat. They've taken down the second seed, TCS Lions. They've also taken down the third seed, Tigers, in this bracket. If they lock out Swain's Vegas, they would have knocked out four of, or three of the four top seeds here in this A to 4A tournament. <laughs> I respect that. As the 11th seed, they're, by the way. They're, As they're the 11th seed, that's one. the crazy part. <laughs> I respect that. There could only be one of us at the top of the table. And if Kevin if Kevin has been playing like this the entire bracket, I believe it because there are some crazy individual plays that have happened across the board. And especially at some of these levels, all it takes is that one amazing player. They can turn the tide of the game, especially in Rocket League. It's not like League of Legends where you've got two other lanes to worry about. You've got four other teammates. In this game, you can pop off mechanically, single-handedly get your team a couple goals, make a save make that pass and you can have such an influence on the game and this is the kind of series you usually see it but this game too a lot more even a lot of chances back and forth if Swain's Vegas can just hold the line here they are still going to be in good shape I think they're doing very well in that respect way better than I fully uh, thought here and I and I love this uh I love this Ooh. swing of how the game state is game one what was it 10 goals total we're like okay this is kind of how it's going this one around much quieter and I really do talk to them Swain's Vegas, but also Viking RL. The immediate swap and understanding of, okay, maybe we can't send a full just individual, uh, you know, forefront right into the enemy territory without much of a backup plan. That's the danger. That's the right call to make. You have to learn to adjust because at the end of the day, to me, it turns into a chess match. How are you going to deal with the opponent that has made this move, this adjustment, this kind of crack at your own territory? I love the fact that Viking RL have also not allowed any goal on their end. Normally, we would see a crack at this point. Yeah, right now it's been a very rotation heavy game. Like you said, last game it was all about the mechs, it was all about the aerials going for the double taps, the dunks. Right now though, they've just been cycling it up the sidewall, looking for the right passing window. Kevin makes a nice move to break the ankles with one, but he will eventually get turned away in the door. It's been a lot more rotation, a lot more defensive focus. As we said, that first goal came relatively early into the game and since then, it's been rather quiet. Both teams, you can tell they're playing a lot more measured, a lot safer, not really willing to take as many chances. And the longer this game goes, each one of 
these goals is going to feel a lot more valuable. So you know that making that one mistake, all it takes is two to three seconds. Someone gets bumped, someone gets demoed, and this game can break wide open one way or the other. A lot of sideline play as well. Can't really control that middle either, which is understandable. But this demo here by Corrupt Kevin trying to create a little bit of space and opportunity for the rest of the team. Remember, Viking RL, they're more than happy to play within this window of a one goal difference. I think they've shown in their mechanical prowess that, hey, we can play with just about any sort of lead, but we want to keep that lead first. Peaking, trying their best to ramp their way in. 2.1 version oh. for 2.2 if you can. But no goal to be had. Taco saying, yo, okay, let's get some shots down as best we can. Swain's Vegas, though, in a dangerous spot here, keeping three defenders in. Good rotation out from that denying of a goal. Yeah, Kevin, when he can't really get going in the score department, this guy just walked it down, took two defenders, ended up finding the bump, recycling the ball for his team, still got the shot on net. That is a great little touch to the top left corner, though, is going to be denied by Harmonix. So 45 seconds, you still got time to score. That is a decent clear attempt. Peking is going to flip that one to the far corner, looking to maybe start to boost our Viking RL, try to suppress that counterattack potential that they could be looking for. You can see Harmonix on zeros and Getsu. Probably got some boost, have to try to take it up to the corner, but see if he can find the second touch. Peaking though, just great patience, get the body in the way, try to get Taco to find the cycle. Right, Viking RL, pressure is gonna be on. You are under 30 seconds left in the game. You've just gotta hold the goal line a little bit longer. And if you're swayed, you've gotta find mm. one, but that might be the dagger. 18 seconds left in the game and Viking RL finally finds the window. And it's once again Zengetsu, who we've seen be very opportunistic in game one, scored a couple goals that just kind of seemed a little bit off, was the one to score the first goal at about eight seconds. And I really like that, having a player that is more mechanically set, but also someone that can read the rest of the map and, and the rest of the field as well. You can say, hey, I'm going to be right here. Most likely there's going to be a pop. There's going to be a slightly dead ball opportunity really well played and all of a sudden you can coast in these last eight seconds instead of trying to hammer it out as hard as possible the carry no grounding just yet but swain's vegas going down 0-2 at the beginning of this series and I'm always impressed when someone outplays another team mechanically, like pretty much all of game one, and they're willing to not let the ego take over. They're willing to kind of step back and, okay, we can resort to playing regular Rocket League. We don't really have to try to flex. We don't have to be too crazy, try to do too much here. Just play a safe, sound game. You get that first early goal in the first half of the game. Just play ball control the rest of the way through. Then hopefully you find that second one later on. 18 seconds left. Game very, very hard to come back at that point. So 2 nothing lead. Game two definitely could have gone either way, but Viking RL, they just keep making these small adjustments that all you need is one or two goals and that will win you the game that's terrifying to think about as well because it does feel almost effortless when they do so granted that game was only two goals that was it that was what a uh, i want to say a fifth of game number one but it felt the goals they did score were not difficult there are a lot of times we see multiple challenges come out from the opposing squad from the defensive squad you know hey you have to you have to have a rotation of defenders you have to pull every defender out and all of a sudden you got a three a, a three shot goal and finally the fourth goes through you were talking about break the defense it didn't feel like that it felt almost uh it felt almost like a leisurely walk from Viking to get those boulder too. So I'm actually kind of scared for this one. How easy is it going to be? Once again, Swings Vegas currently down two games. And Taco says it's going to be pretty difficult. Demo right out the gate to deny any sort of offensive straight. Yeah, I think at this point, and I think it kind of holds true in a lot of series, when one team starts to fall behind, especially if they maybe think we're just a little bit behind them as far as the rotations or maybe the mechanics aren't quite there, just make the game scrappy. Just start yep. trying to 50 more things. Make sure you're not double, triple committing. That is the ultimate faux pas, but just continue to make the game scrappy. Try to start annoying the other team, worst case, because you can make it a dirty, gritty game and you can start to just try to, you know, six, seven pop shots at the goal line, try to boost, starve them, just try to do these little small things that are gonna disrupt their flow, disrupt their timing just a little bit. And then you can hopefully find those one or two windows to score. And then they played great defense last game. They just gotta keep it up in the crossbar. We'll be giving them some assistance. That is gonna keep the Viking off the board. And that would have been a killer first goal to score. I love the fact that immediately off rip, we saw that one demo and then I think Corrupt Kevin sent it right back in their own favor. Yeah. I just want to point that out. Like, it, it was just the encapsulation of everything you said. It's just get gritty, get nitty gritty with it. And then we also saw Taco go for a bump. This is something that we are going to see. Instead of chasing that ball, predict where the opponent is going to go and just try and bump him out of their pattern, even if it's in the air. It exposes you to a potential goal situation. Shot off the crossbar as no one else is going to be there, but the re-hit gauge comes in. And YNXLA says, yo, why? Watch me get this goal.
That is exactly the start that Swain's Vegas was looking for. You catch Viking RL in a bit of a weird rotation. Kevin is expecting them to win the 50. He's already looking to get the breakout for the counter attack, but they end up bumping in front of each other in the crease. That's all it takes, right? Just capitalize on the mistakes. As long as you play mistake free, there is a very high chance you're going to win 70, 80% of your games. Just play for these small timings, play for these windows. You can find yourself getting a couple goals nice and easy. Like you said, it's sometimes taking the easy goals. It's better to be lucky than good. Just take the easy stuff when it's there. You don't have to overcomplicate the game, and you've got a one nothing lead. I would love for them to try to play aggressive and extend it, but Armonic instantly looking for the equalizer and will not be able to find it. And that feels so bad. You had an open net and everything. You could have had it up right there. You could have given yourselves uh, what, what may have been serious point if you go ahead and lay down that tie, and then you look for corrupt Kevin or anyone else to go ahead and get that second. These little pieces, you always got to sit there and almost feel bad if things go down to the wire. Right now, a couple minutes left, two and a half, 240 if you will. This is now going to be offensive on goal side. Corrupt Kevin getting jostled out by two defenders as Swain's Vegas trying to get this ball back under control. He can send it out to the other side of the sideline and now carry it with two. Corrupt Kevin goes up to try and deny. Good pass over the defender. In wow. a cold and surprisingly enough, what? I was waiting for that thing to come down. I did not think that was going to get slotted in perfectly. Just no, off look at that. And off the side post. Oh, my God. So we said whether that was luck or skill, that's two on the board for Swain's Vegas. And now you find yourself in a semi-comfortable lead. You've got the pacing of this game. You've played perfectly on defense so far. It's just continue this pace, continue this grind. And, right, you can make the series 2-1 if you can somehow steal away this game and lock it up. So this series very much still in reach. I am very, very impressed with YN so far. That is a great way to try and kick back at the opponent. And you can see Peking going ahead, taking out Kevin as quick as can be. Going to launch a shot back. And thankfully, it is defended out. Sing gets it. We, we are in the nitty gritty with it. We had none before. But Peking takes advantage. So he's Vegas with three total on the board. This is exactly what I was talking about. Start to tilt the other team. Once you start to just fire <laughs> away on the net, if you continue to demo players, you're gonna complete, you're gonna have that man advantage. You're gonna get them off guard. They have to wait for the respawn. They're only gonna spawn with 30 boosts, so you get every advantage, especially finding demos when you're already in the offensive zone, because that respawn timer is long enough where you can send that right to the middle and send it home for the third goal of the game. So still some time for Vikings to cook. They could potentially look for one back here and harmonic flying through the sky will just dunk that one nice and easy skirts by the first defender just a nice clean handle all the way to the goal line and that will get Viking RL within two with a minute 40 so Swain's Vegas you are not out of the woods yet I mentioned this before it feels like Viking RL are a team of individually sound players each one capable of making goal happen under a slight duress more so than a normal Rocket League player would uh, so I'm I'm enjoying this one. Zangetsu also looking to try and get a little bit of help at Swains of Vegas saying we are the ultimate team and knowing how to do teamwork here. We are here in the Grand Finals for a reason. And right now this game is showing a minute 15 left, more than enough time to make some extra happen. The Swains of Vegas remembers games one and two. They don't want to win just by two. They want to win by three or more. They're going to try and throw down here. Taco though has to let that ball drop. Can't do much more. Minute remaining on the clock. Yeah, great ball control, great defense, and a great bump out of Swain's Vegas. Like you said, YNXLA is taking over this game. He was just able to single-handedly get the bump, dig the ball out, recycle this, and that's going to be 15, 20 seconds off the clock that Viking RL, quite frankly, cannot afford to lose right now. But now that Kevin is back on the board, first time in quite some time this last game and a half, you got to make sure that he does not get eaten up. 41 seconds, just enough time to throw it away if you're Swain's Vegas. You've got to make sure you either find that goal or lock down that net. Such a beauty of a time right now. Viking RL just need one more in 40 seconds. We've seen what they can do with eight. Let's see if they can do it here. Corrupt oh, Kevin, Kevin, the one that we want before, going to do a touch off the backboard. Team play is there, but not going to be on time. That's a big difference. 30 seconds, though. Offensive is still made. Got to go grab some boost. And Zangetsu is trying to keep the ball on the opposing side. Corrupt Kevin from the goal. Says, yo, midfield is my territory. And off the defender as well. Corrupt Kevin ties things up.
Oh, this is going to be an absolute heart wrencher for Swain's Vegas. He splits the sticks, both defenders not able to collapse in time. And a 3 nothing lead has been deleted within basically a minute and a half. They were up 3 nothing going into about the two minute mark. And all of a sudden, Viking RL has exploded. And Kevin looking for the reset, looking for the double reset and the flick. What a statement goal that would have been, but luckily for Swains, they shut the door. Now they are begging and praying that overtime ends up being the result, unless they can possibly send that one long. But Kevin is gonna find the touch, the bump is gonna come through. Bit of a dangerous touch though, Harmonic. Smart to let that one drop, and Swains Vegas back against the wall. You cannot afford to go down 0-3, especially the fashion which this game has slipped away. Oh, oh no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Minutes. But, but that, that's like that's like oh. on par. Let's be honest. It's corrupt Kevin. This is like on par with the man. That's tragic. <laughs> we got Viking on the one looking nasty with it with the one on your screen. Corrupt Kevin is quite literally uh, Patrick just going in like this is this is like straight up Casey Cheese is running it just like yo listen. We're going to drag ourselves across the finish line one way or another. And I love it. At the end of the day, under two minutes, all you had to do was get some goals. And Corrupt Kevin said, yo, Harmonic, I saw you. I saw what you're throwing down. Let me help out. Uh, if you're Swain's Vegas, too, now looking back, it's like <laughs> we played perfectly for four minutes and still ended up losing in overtime after we gradually got better. Game one, we kind of got blown out as far as the three early goals. We didn't really have a chance to play. Game two, we tightened things up a lot, just couldn't find the back of the net. Game three, we couldn't miss, and we still lost. That's like shooting 80% from the field, and you lost because the other team shoots 95 to 100. It's like, yeah, you played a near flawless game of Rocket League, but right it takes five ten seconds to score when kevin's got that ball in his bumper he has found the net every single time basically so now it's one more game and we hope it's not a formality for swain's vegas but viking rl man you've got to be on cloud nine after that oh no i am wholly impressed and, and granted swain's vegas it seems over each game we have seen improvements keep that in mind game one kind of a rough game game two much closer game three very close almost should have had it down so you've been perfecting this crap and if there's ever a time to bring all those pieces together, it's right now. Bring together all the pieces that you use to get so close and get a dub. That's one. Get the demos this time in a much more appropriate spot. And Peking throws down goal one. Yeah, just play 3v2. The numbers, the math, math's in my head. So nice little demo. Both defenders kind of double committing, going for the quarter boost. Kevin respawning in the same corner. So three defenders far side of the net. That was a nice little touch by Swains Vegas. And we saw this last game. We saw the same start. They scored at exactly about the same time. They played that great game. But uh, now that I've seen, you know, I've really seen corrupt Kevin. I am very familiar with this game. So if you're Swains Vegas, you know you've got a long way to finish. They're gonna hold on, but YN getting a little bit dicey with it. Threw down another demo, but this time it's Harmonic once again to tie things up. And the players that seem to not have that much of a of an impact in game one have now really shown up here in games three, uh, uh, three and four. I, I give a lot of credit. Peking, we saw before, had pretty good control over some of the situations, and now scoring the one goal for Swain's Vegas. I think they're pretty happy. Yeah, unfortunately, Peking did just kind of lob it for uh, Harmonic there. <laughs> Bit of a misplay, went for kind of a cute little back touch, so unfortunately didn't really go his way, and the great teams, they will punish those mistakes. That is a great touch by Zangetsu. It actually beats both defenders. That's a second little touch as well. The floater is going to be on target, but that is a great play by Taco. Going to dig that one out of the goal line. Should buy them just a few seconds. Oh. Maybe only a moment instead. Kevin is now on the board. Viking RL has the lead, and now this is going to be DEFCON 5 for Swain's Vegas. I love that look like just a hard drift to boost in. And that was, we, we mentioned it, right? Like, Corrupt Kevin is a one-man army. It's just, it's just frustrating. These are moments where you're sitting there going, that shouldn't go in, right? That shouldn't oh. be a goal. That shouldn't be a goal. And Viking RL, go ahead and uh, just are willing to lose. It's like, we're willing to lose as long as Kevin doesn't beat us because we have Y and XLA. This guy has performed every single game so far. Nice touch over the defender, Harmonic. No way to get a touch on that one and buries it to tie up the game. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of less speechless right now. This is getting...
this is getting to the point where players are just like, yo, uh, we got to do something. And I love it. At the same time, this does lean into Viking RL. I think they're much more uh, mechanically inclined to do stuff like this. Fire a long ball. Just go for a midfield punt if you can and, and see what you throw down. Swain's Vegas opting to change their play style. What feels like midway through this game number four. I'm not sure if it's going to help or hurt them. And that's the thing, if you're going to change your gameplay now, maybe we would have thought to do it earlier, but the only thing is, right, when you go down to nothing in a series, you don't feel like it's the end of the world, and then whatever style you played in Game 3 was looking so damn good for so long. So then after you lose that game, I think things really start to come into question, but no questioning Kevin on at the scoreboard once again. He must have 9, 10 goals at this point. Absolutely lighting up the column. 7, 800 score across a couple of games and gives Viking RL the lead once more in Game 4. At this point, it's it's Kevin and Co. is what we're seeing here. Kevin and the Vikings is Kevin the name of this group, and it's out of control right now. It, it's it's very, very powerful. I'm loving every single moment of Swain's Vegas. Going to try their best to run this clock and get another goal on. But what can they really change? They tried to go more aggressive. The demos have kind of been nullified here. And remember, as oh. much as you demo, you can't demo at the wrong time because if you do, you leave your net wide open. Corrupt Kevin going to be challenged in midfield, but follow up behind his and gets you. Yet, what I would consider the first team play we've seen this entire <laughs> series from Viking RL. Yeah, so, you know, Kevin can score. Also, he's, he's a bit of a dimer. Right off the backboard, beats the defender. The defense, 100% expecting Kevin to go for the shot there. He's like, yeah, I got someone right behind me calling for it. I'm going to love this one off the backboard. And that's going to be a free alley-oop in. That was just going to be an exclamation point on an already... Very, very confirmed series right now for Viking RL, but they're just gonna send this one around. Clock is gonna be their friend, but so are a couple more goals. Harmonic trying to get himself inserted into the score column, saying gets to a nice little contest toward mid taco, waiting in the wing. Gonna see if it swings Vegas can get one back quickly. Only a two goal deficit. You've still got time to work, but the offense of Viking RL has just seemingly exploded this game. Oh man, Whoa. peaking though, Whoa. sending it right in with one of the softest carries and just drops him. Might as well have been a floater. Look at this, peaking quite literally unchallenged nice to the air. And it's a nice one. Back to one goal with a minute 20 on the clock. That's the thing, Swain's Vegas, when they get these windows, they've got players that can make mechanical plays, just maybe not to the pace of Kevin and some of these other players on Viking. That's the only hard thing, is obviously a lot of skill in the server. And right, even this game, it's four to three. They just lost an overtime game, four to three. So. This team is very, very close, I think, in terms of being able to possibly win a game or two. It's just got to see if they can minimize some of the mistakes. We saw Peking, he has two goals in this game, but he also gift-wrapped Harmonica goal in the same game that gave Viking that lead earlier. So it's just about fine-tuning some small mistakes, seeing if they can find this fourth goal, this elusive goal to try to keep them alive in the series. And that save is necessary to do so. Oh, let's see what they can get here. 45 seconds, dead ball opportunity. Viking RL gonna pick it up, send it over towards the mid. Anyone there? No, oh, you don't have Kevin. to have anyone. Just Kevin just drops it in. What is... Kevin, stop. Let other people play the game. Look at that. Two defenders eyeing him up, and he said, don't care, didn't ask. And just drops it in the bucket right above the backboard, and that is a bit of a backbreaker for Swain's Vegas at this point. You just know you can't stop this guy. Steph Curry's got 50. He's pulling up from half court. There's not really much you can do at this point. You just know you got to tip your cap and say, game sir, good series. Obviously, you're kind of cracked at the server, Kevin, though. <laughs> I want to see if he might try to go for one or two, or two more. I, I wouldn't be doubtful at this point. They get to looking, looking for a bit of stop and go. But at this point, Viking RL, 20 seconds, two goals. You've got to assume they are fit to wrap up the sweep. Oh, not another one. From the sideline, from 11th to take down just about every single top Shot. seed here in this tournament. Viking RL1 are looking monstrous and then some. I have loved every moment that we've seen. And quite honestly, even though Krep Kevin is looking like the all-star, I give a lot of credit to the rest of the Zing Getsu, Harmonics have all looked good in their own right, in their own moments as well. It's not to be discounted, Swain's Vegas, they're not a bad team. As you can see, they're a carry in. It's one more staple of Viking RL1. Or your Georgia High School Association A through 4A Rocket League champions.
how was that team in 11 seed? That is better than <laughs> I have seen in some CRL games back when it was around. Genuinely, the team play, knowing for Kevin, it's like the team was starting to struggle a bit. He's like, listen, I got to pick us up. I got to start to get the offense going. He just walks it down time after time. Then when he starts to score three or four in a row, it's like, I'm just going to lob it off the backboard. I got two great teammates saying, gets who I think had eight shots in that game, had two goals. I think they had something 19, 20 shots across as a team. So I don't know how you're ever going to beat a team that's shooting 19, 20 times with efficiency like that. But that was a fantastic showing. And despite the fact it was a 4-0, it definitely felt like a much closer series. Mm -hmm. Swain's Vegas were able to kind of put themselves in the right spots. And I actually really want to congratulate their analysis of the games throughout. Game one, difficult game. If that were me, I'm done. My mental is shattered. I'm like, okay, this is over. How are we going to come back from this? Game two, they kept it to two. And then game three, they actually started scoring against. I want to show that growth. That's what you want to see. That's either coaching or the players themselves making those adjustments are really good. But sometimes you can't beat that Goliath in that Kevin. Sometimes the players just haven't that all-star play. So Jobin, I know you're going to say, hey, listen, it's corrupt Kevin that deserves the MVP and all that stuff. Would you say anyone else has really shown up in terms of an individual showing on either team here in this grand finals? I think probably, you ha I think the first half of the series, it was probably Y and XLA. Then I think Peking mm. really, really stepped up. Besides the one small mistake in game four, found a lot of demos, found a lot of the bumps, was kind of being the setup guy, the glue guy, really, really solid on rotations, made a couple of saves, got the hat trick in the game four, was made a couple of really nice individual plays. So probably a split between those two, but I would probably lean the latter toward the end of the series. Just it's really, really solid, consistent play. You know, one little oopsie, but it happens. It's a very fast paced game, especially when Kevin seems to be flying above you the entire game and you're trying to track him down so i think it was just a great series by him overall i loved every single moment of it and again congratulations to the side of this viking rl1 squad what an amazing showing congratulations screw up kevin for freaking taking our breath away and it's been an amazing time here the play versus spring 2024 high school championship will continue with the ghs a Madden 2024 action. That'll be starting at the top of the hour, which will be a lot of fun. I know Jobin was very excited for this one, so please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back at the top of the hour with more esports action.